Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. For today's video, I'm going to be showing a way that you can a workflow uh, for adding subtitles using Caden Live and then bringing those into YouTube. So you can add subtitles in Caden Live and have them overlay on the video, or you can have them as YouTube captions or do both. So what I did is here, I recorded a little, um, you know, clip of myself saying as follows. Hello, my name is Daniel. I use Caden Live. On an operating system called Ubuntu. And I like Ethiopian food. So this is, you know, really a, sim a simple job. So let's just go ahead now and add these. Now to add subtitles in Caden, we need to go into um, our project and it's a 16 second clip. So I'm gonna go uh, subtitles and add subtitle and i can even just tell by the sound waves this is hello uh, then we have my name is daniel so i'm going to add another one uh here using uh shift c my name is daniel and i'm going to just put that to the end of that sound wave ethiopian food and we'll just cut that one there so let's just have a look back now goes out for a second So you can see the subtitles are fine there. So right, that's they're all coming in at the right time, and Caden Live is going to store all those timestamps for us. Now here's what we want to do. So firstly, I'm going to go ahead and render this uh, video here. I'm going to just uh, call it um, subtitle underscore test. And we're going to put this up to YouTube as a. I'll just do it as a private video. So I'm going to start rendering this. And while that rendering job is going on, it should only take a few seconds, we're gonna try and uh, get those subtitles out. So go into project, click down into subtitles, and you're going to have a button here, export subtitle file, right? So we've added one, two, three, four, five different uh, text subtitles in this demo at their respective timestamps. And we're going to be able to uh, generate that as a file. So I'm gonna just create a folder on my desktop, for ease uh, of myself really and call it subtitles. I'm gonna call it test underscore subtitles and click on save. Okay, so I rendered out a file there called subtest.srt. Now I did actually uh, encounter a, an unexpected bug during this demo in that I had to actually type by hand the uh, .srt extension. It wouldn't uh, export the subtitle file any other way. But I got there in the end, so I typed subtitle, subtest.srt. So if you're getting the bug that it won't or can't export, try doing that. And then I can just open this file in a text editor. We can see it's a very simplistic file, um, 20 lines, but it does have the timestamps. You can see here zero in uh, hours, minutes, second, and frames, start point, end point, text, start point, end point, text. And that's all that's in this SRT format, one, two, three, four, five each subtitle has a block. So what we're gonna go to do now is uh, take this as our subtitle file and we're going to go into YouTube. I'm gonna upload this test video and uh, import this into YouTube as YouTube subtitles. Okay, so I've gone ahead now and I have uploaded that little 17 second test clip into the back end of my YouTube. I've clicked subtitles on the left menu here and now there's a button for add subtitles and you can see the screen here. Now you can see because I rendered it with subtitles, the subtitles we added there are actually overlaid on the video, but we can also add them. So the first option here is upload file and se select subtitle file type. We're gonna go for with timing because we do have those times and we're gonna get a bunch of uh, recent files here. So I'm gonna click on subtest.srt as you can see, it's only uh, 267 bytes, very, very small. Clicked on, click on select and look at what's going on here. Hello, my name is Daniel. I use Caden Live on an operating system called Ubuntu and I like Ethiopian food and it's preserved all the timestamps just as we had them in Caden Live. And you can see it's working because we now have those two layers of subtitles. So I'm gonna click publish now and let's see how that looks on the actual video. 
All right, so I've opened up the video here. I've clicked subtitles to enable them. What we should be seeing is a perfect match between the subtitles on the video and the YouTube subtitles, which I've now added. They're available as English, not auto translate ones. They actually added, and let's go ahead and see how this works. So that's our work guys now how would this work in in practice so i wouldn't recommend doing this in other words uh, rendering your subtitles into the video and also um having them i would recommend doing one or the other but what you can do is i find editing and adding subtitles in, in youtube kind of a pain in the backside so what i would actually use this for is do your subtitling do your subtitling in caden then export those files and then just import that to youtube and uh, when that, and all you'd have to do to not have them show on the rendering is just this little icon here for visible. Turn that to off and then render your video and you'll have the subtitles saved, but they won't actually render out onto the screen. Hope this uh, video on how to use Caden Life for generating YouTube subtitles has been useful. If you do want to get more videos from me about Caden Live and other miscellaneous topics, do feel free to drop a subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching.